Let's talk about the ESC firmware. As we all know, there is one ESC firmware that everyone uses, and this is the BL Heli. Okay, there is a BL Heli, BL Heli S, and BL Heli 32, but currently it's only BL Heli 32 and BL Heli S, and they are the only firmwares for the ESCs that we use, right? Well, no, because of course not. This is the free world. We have alternatives. The only alternative to the BL Heli is the AM32, right? Well, one more time, not because there is one more. The project is called Escape32. I, earlier this year, I already spoke about this uh, a little. And it's the attempt to make both the BL Heli and AM32 an open so one more time one more open source competition with some interesting features if you will type escape 32 into the google you will be directed to the github escape 32 repository what does it offer well quite a lot mm, it's the at least the competition for the am32 with some of the interesting uh, interesting features but we will not be talking about the features that are well quite obvious we will rather be talking about something that was shown to me today on how the guy behind the ESC32 thinks about the how the configuration of the ESC can look like. Yes, I do agree that in case of the like Okta having this function might not be the best idea ever, even in case of the quad it can be problematic. But for example, the guy designed and built ESC with the Wi-Fi. You just power your ESC, uh, ESC has the Wi-Fi, you connect with your smartphone to your Wi-Fi and you have the full access to everything that the ESC offers. Everything that you can uh, have over there can be changed. Kind of interesting uh, approach to the problem that that maybe not many people have, but it's a nice thing that uh, people uh, are actually thinking slightly out of the box uh, on the topics of the ESCs. There are people on the internet uh, who say that the Escape 32 flies better than the AM32. And there are people who say that their quads started to fly much better since they upgraded. Okay, I have not compared this, so I will not say, but there are people who say so. What's interesting, the Escape 32 is compatible with quite a lot of the ESCs on the market, uh, especially it's flashable with uh, all the ESCs uh, that already are running AM32. So if you would like to check for yourself what this ESC firmware offers. It's possible to just do it at home. You don't have to buy the ready hardware. Maybe you will be super happy. Maybe not, but well, you have to find out by yourself. The fact that we have a competition is the motivation for different people to try harder. If you have the best product or the market, but someone shows up and shows something that is uh, even slightly better, then you have the motivation to improve on your uh, product uh, to still be able to be called the best.